I got my sursal cut out and um, then I realized that this is way too thick. And I kind of wonder what that, you know, I mean, it's, they probably beefed it up so it wouldn't break. Um, but it's a millimeter and a half, uh, which is actually quite thick. You can see it's quite thick, um, but that's really, really bad for um, getting that infinity focus. And you guys are going to see that when you build yours, that it's, um, you got to do everything you can to try and get that infinity focus when we're stacking this stuff, unless we can figure out a different way of mounting it. I have two millimeters, and I think if I gobble up both of those millimeters, I might lose infinity focus, so I have to keep it li uh, limited. So anyways, I found another lens cap I can destroy, um, but this one, at least I can reuse it, but uh, it's got a metal sheet. And this metal sheet is only, let's see if I can pull this off, it's super thin, it's just basically a little sheet of metal, a little tin. And that's really all I need, I just need a gasket to hold, uh, you know, it's, it's very flexible, but it's going to have the nut, the three nuts press up against this, and it's basically all it is is going to be a washer holding, squishing it together. I got the, um, the ring in, and uh, <clears throat> I put this uh, thin sheet of uh, clear plastic in there as well. Everything fits. It goes past infinity focus, which is exactly what we wanted, um, so that I can get a bit of tilt coming back out of past infinity, so we can actually tilt uh, a tiny bit of infinity focus. The biggest thing I'm happy about is that I get infinity focus, <laughs> because uh, I wasn't sure, but I can. I believe I can actually tilt infinity focus. If I use this plastic ring, I wouldn't have been able to do it. I would only get infinity focus, no tilt. And so just that uh, I used this metal, um, that metal lens cap that I showed you, just that thin, 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 thin metal plate. Um, and this, just that difference uh, enables me to get uh, past infinity focus. So now, man, we're really getting down to it. So, um, you know, I'm gonna work with this and I'll let you know, but I think that I'm gonna actually cut one of these uh, rings off. I think I'll just go with three. I'm gonna test it all. Um, and then I'm gonna drill the holes and we're gonna get the nuts and mount it. So yes, uh, I'm going to cut one of these rings off. Uh, here it is on the end <clears throat> and then uh, and so this one ring is extra uh, if you have it uh, you know I thought maybe it'd be lots of movement it'd be great but there's enough movement with one bellows and then one ring and uh, and this actually bunches up again and lose your infinity focus so I'm gonna cut it right at the seam so you only want one two three and not four so I'm gonna cut it now we're coming down to the last couple steps here, and uh, so I painted the ring black um, just to eliminate light on the side, doesn't matter, it's still silver. There's my little screws and nuts. Um, they are, they're almost identical. They look the same, they're the same size. It's hard to find a, a large head um, screw. You could reuse the original screws. Um, but you would need a you need to find a washer, which maybe you could find at some weird hardware store, or find out the thread. But this is a this is a um, uh, a coarse thread, and uh, I didn't have a coarse thread, so I'm I found three uh, little screws that were fine thread with uh, fine thread nuts. So I'm gonna use those, and uh, but the the heads are a little bit mushed up on two of them. I'm lucky I got them because. I went through hundreds of screws and this is all I had, so, um, but if you can find a uh, nut for your coarse thread uh, screw originally, they work perfect if you can find that coarse uh, nut. I'm going to slip this in here, then this is going to go on here, and I'm going to cinch. Oh man, this is going to be awesome, this is going to work great. So I'm going to take this out, match it up, drill the holes. And uh, let's see what happens. The moment that we start. I'm used to walking with my feet. Turbulence is like a sign that I can't help but overthink. What is the purpose of my life? Just 
uh, scrape some paint off of here. I shouldn't have painted all that, but uh, I'm going to glue the nuts on there so they don't move. Uh, and then I'll repaint it again. I'm going to tape, double side, sticky tape this on here. Um, just to cover up the electronics a little bit. Another thing I'm going to be doing is I'm putting down uh, some washers uh, just on the nut side, so they'll go they'll go right here, and then the nut on top, and then the rubber will be on this side, and then the mount, uh, just to beef it up a little bit. So there's a, a nut in there, and then a washer, and then I coated it in uh, that uh, this AC glue, which is. It's also a gap filler, it's really good stuff. So I'm gonna wash this with soap and water because the last one I did was just, as soon as I did it, it wasn't greasy anymore. It, the other one was really slimy. This one's not so bad, but I was still gonna wash it. Uh, I got this washed and it totally feels different. It definitely was coated. Um, I'm going to put some acetone on here, just wipe this super clean and dry um, because I wanna make sure that that double-sided sticky tape is gonna, uh, is really gonna grip on. Um, the other lens I did, the 50 mil, I, uh, I roughed it up with the file, but I don't wanna do that with this because we're not using glue. And uh, for glue, it's, it's good to do that, rough it up. Uh, with this one, it's not good to do it with it because I would, uh, this double-sized sticky tape lays really flat and I don't want it to miss in between wherever the file landed. So I'm going to wipe this down with acetone. We're going to put the boot on. Alright, so now I'm going to try and yank that ribbon out and uh, hopefully it'll land. So I forgot to press record, but yeah, it's definitely sticking um, really well, just in some areas I missed it. But anyways, I'm putting this uh, zap strap on. Alright. Starting to, starting to look familiar. So uh, now we are ready to put the mount together. I think what I'm going to do though first is I'm going to put it uh, entirely together. Um, but I'm not gonna put the double-sided tape on yet. I want to do a test run make sure everything is good And if it's all good, then I'm gonna put the tape on and we're gonna mount it Hey, 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 look at that. So there's not a whole lot of tilt shift, but you know what? That's probably all I need. Well, there's no shift. Oh, there is shift. Oh, there's more shift than the, the uh, 50 mil. Look at that. So you're like, oh, that's not much shift, but man, it, it doesn't take a whole, well, for shift it would, but this isn't gonna be a shift lens, a tilt lens. So, um, well, actually it's not here it's this part so there's more um, so compared to the 50 mil you know there was no shift at all which I'm not gonna use it for um, but for tilt this was more than we I ever needed I just it's just this was way too much it wrecked the photos so the only sh tilt I ever needed was just a tiny bit to make a photo look good with a nice blur on the top or bottom. If you go like this, it just it's just way too much. Nothing's in focus, so. Um, now this is a 2.8. It's gonna be less depth of field, but, or uh, I, I guess more depth of field, less blur. Um, but, you know, 
that's probably that's probably exactly what it needs so I'm gonna go and test this and you know what it's holding so well I might not even double side tape it so I'm gonna go and play around with this see how it works I'm gonna uh, put this in the circuit board I'm gonna screw that in and I'm gonna do some test shots I'll be right back Woohoo! all right guys check that out it works <laughs> are we shocked Oh, but no, it's uh, man, this is where it, it works out really well. Um, uh, so yeah, there's just a couple more modifications that we're gonna do to it, but uh, it works great. I get past infinity focus, which is perfect because when we tilt, we need everything we can get. Uh, the amount of tilt is great. I think I'm gonna be happy with it. I'm gonna do some test shots um, in the morning. Uh, I actually can pull this uh, to closer focus than the original, um, well, basically one foot. And I can get this closer than one foot, so that's all you pull, just a tiny bit, and uh, the focus is really, you hardly have to move it and you go from infinity or past infinity uh, to mackerel. And so, automatic <laughs> aperture, diaphragm. That's awesome. Uh, it fully meters everything is absolutely just like the 2828. Uh, of course, is where it came from. I gotta get this front plate. Mine's gone when I got this because it was a damaged lens, of course. But um, man, this is absolutely incredible. It works perfect. I, I can't wait to get shooting this thing. I think I'm gonna cut this down just a little bit here. Um, You'll see when you're doing yours, just to make a little more room for the wiring. Maybe next time I do definitely way less wiring. Uh, it's not really an issue, but it's just it's bundled up back and forth. I do less wiring. I cut this down. Uh, there was a notch sticking up here, and so I cut it down just because it does fit. But um, I just wanted to. Uh, oh, the mount's not on there, but anyways, it was hitting the wiring just a little bit. Um, so anyways, I just took that out, just uh, cut it out, and uh, now it doesn't hit the wiring. Um, and so it's, it wasn't really affecting anything, but I thought, you know what, why not help it out? But anyways, uh, I'm also putting the double-sided sticky tape all on here. Um, so that's all the stickers, but and then I'm just cutting it off doing this. And those are ready to peel off and stick down. Maybe we'll do this bad boy next 85 1.2 I doubt it <laughs> I actually looked at damaged uh, 50 mil 1.2s to do but so um, so I'm collecting my set right so we got the I, don't know, I can't remember what this is like a 85 mil or a 90 mil or something like that and then we got a 50 mil and a, now a 28 mil 2.8 oh, this is absolutely fantastic um, so there it was before and after Check out uh, canonfastreviews.com, C-A-N-N-O-N, -N -N. that's with two N's, canonfastreviews.com, and I got a bunch of other stuff up there, and, and definitely check out the uh, 50 mil as well, have a collection of these things, you can make the 50 mil as well, and, um, and maybe I'll post some stuff on how to do the Polaroid, uh, I might do a video on that. It was, a, it was a long uh, kind of a job to a lot of thinking. If you're going for a soft portrait lens, this is it. It is super fun. Um, I prefer a little bit wider, uh, surprisingly, even though my main lens is an 85 1.2. Uh, so there it is. Uh, if you guys, uh, if this was beneficial, um, uh, like and subscribe. That would be awesome. Uh, tell your friends, hey, or build it and impress them. And uh, um, I'm gonna do some test shots. I'll, I'll post at the beginning of this video, obviously, my review of what I think about the lens, um, and um, and just say a few comments. I'll hopefully get some photos up of this lens um, so that it's inspiring. And uh, but it works. It works. It works. We did it. Oh man, I'm so excited about that. It's going to be a fun lens to play with, so hopefully this helps you guys. Um, so again, like and subscribe and, uh, and, uh, and go build some crazy stuff. Alright, talk to you. Bye.